when we put up the real wall, we're going to stop 99%, maybe more than that. But this is what it is now with a not very good wall. But here it is before, and the people just pouring across. This is one of the sections where we have double fencing. You have a board, actually triple right. fencing. You have a wall here, you have bollards. Right. And again, it's outdated materials, but it proved the concept. But sir, the economic driver of this outlet mall that was built after we reestablished law and order in San Diego sector, and right behind that's over 500 brand new homes where people have felt so safe near the border, they've moved back in. But that's only because the U.S. Border Patrol reestablished law and order. So they reestablished law and order in San Diego when they put up a wall. And it's not a superior wall, it's an inferior wall, but it's a wall. And you actually use the term reestablished law and order. Yes, sir. You hear it, folks. I mean, say what you want. This is life. These are the facts of life. That's incredible. That's incredible. And a part of San Diego needs a wall. They want a wall very desperately. They're willing to do anything to get it. I said, nope, approve the whole wall, California. Approve the whole wall. Not, we're not going to do your little pieces that you want. Approve the whole wall. You know the section I'm talking about. Okay, folks. Thank you. You get it? Excuse me? Has coming here to oh, see yeah, these, but... I mean, we're looking very much at the wall with some see-through capability on the other side and then solid concrete on top or steel and concrete on top. The round piece that you see up here or you see more clearly back there, the larger it is, the better it is because it's very hard to get over the top. It's really deterrent from getting over the top. Who would think? Who would think? But getting over the top is easy. These are like professional mountain climbers. They're incredible climbers. They can't climb some of these walls. Some of them they can. Those are the walls we're not using. So we've uh, determined that you guys have done a fantastic job. We've determined what to do. This way, when we build, we're not like saying, oh, gee, I wish we did it a different way. But if you didn't have it, you would have a tremendous problem. And even the walls they have now, they're not holding out. They're not holding up. And uh, they're small, but they're really great compared to what they had before. Correct. Stopped about 95%. Right? Correct. I can just point out, we're showing pictures of the United States, of course, too. But there's been an equal benefit on, to Tijuana, to Mexico, that you don't have all that activity hanging out on the south side of the fence either. It's improved the border on both sides, not just our side. Okay, folks? So what do you Pretty think to, uh, criticism from Governor Brown that some of this money might be better spent elsewhere? Well, I think Governor Brown's done a very poor job running California. They have the highest taxes in the United States. Uh, the place is totally out of control. You have sanctuary cities where you have criminals living in the sanctuary cities. And then the mayor of Oakland goes out and notifies when ICE is going in to pick them up. And many of them were criminals with criminal records and very dangerous people. You would say dangerous people. And, uh, no, I think the governor's doing a terrible job running the state of California. And, you know, hey, I have property in California, I will say. I don't think too much about my property anymore, but I have great property in California. The taxes are way, way out of whack. And people are going to start to move pretty soon. And if you don't have safety, meaning if you don't have this kind of wall, the drugs are pouring through in California. Can't do it. So uh, the governor of California, nice guy. I think he's a nice guy. I knew him a long time ago. Has not done the job. And the taxes are double and triple what they should be. And everybody that lives in California, they know it. Thank you very much, everybody.